A prisoner is released after serving 20 years in prison. He tries to adjust to life by working in a diner and living in a small miserable apartment. One night he finds an infant in a dumpster and decides to take care of it. Hello, bloody recaps here. Today I'm going to talk briefly about the movie called, Adopt a Highway, Watch Carefully and Don't Get Distracted. Russell Millings gives vent to the swarming thoughts in his head about his past, but this turmoil is interrupted by the guard and asks him to hurry up, because the day has come when the prisoner smells freedom for the first time in 20 years, because today he crossed the threshold of the prison. He got a job at the first diner he could find and found a place to live, at least with a TV. The next morning he goes to see an officer who tries to get the point across to him that everyone now uses email and he has to send him his reports on his appearances and soon he will be taken off the grid and be able to live a life of freedom. Russell comes to an internet cafe, where he is mistaken for something exotic, because he has never been on the internet. However, the kid does help Russell find an article about his father who passed away in March 2001 from a heart attack. After work, he goes to the amusement park to scoop up some of his lost youth, but the job comes back the next day, and his jailhouse habits have to ask to go somewhere stayed with him. Russell returns to the coffee shop, where the kid makes fun of the ex-con for not having a phone. But things change when Russell says he's done his time, then the kid offers to help him create a mail. And it was tonight that he agreed to stay for the night shift when he went outside to throw out the trash and found an infant in the trash can. In the building, he was stunned by what was happening, but managed to find a note in her bag with her name on it, Yella. Back in the room with the baby, she cried incessantly until Russell found something to entertain her and she quickly fell asleep. Russell then decided to call 911 to report the baby, but quickly changed his mind. That same night, the police showed up at his door, checked his papers and upon hearing the baby crying, one of the officers, understanding Russell as a father, advised him to rub her tummy for pains. Which he did quite well, by the way, to suit the baby. And the next morning he fed her cream. And when daddy comes to the store, a woman tries to help him. But because of her obsession, Russell rather leaves her. While rushing home to see Ella, he drops the groceries and on his return it turns out that Ella didn't scream at all. He decided to find out if you can keep the baby if you found it, but everywhere it was combined with the word kidnapping. So he decided not to tell anyone anymore and went on a family vacation. And at home in the evening, the first fall from the bed occurred, which made Russell unable to find his place and crying with her. In the morning they went to the doctor, where the girl confessed that she had called the police and child welfare, so she would have to take Ella and her walrus away, and the rest would be handled by the staff. He told them everything he knew and in the evening he was already sinking into a lonely depression. But the next day Russell came to work as if nothing had happened, but this time he was visited by agents and his boss, who pressured him morally so that he left work, packed everything and went to Wyoming, to his hometown of Casper. On the way, remembering Ella and looking at the map she managed to chew on. The bus stops to pick up a girl who can't control her emotions because she lost her ticket, but as the driver guessed, the ticket was stashed in her pocket. She got on the bus and started crying, so Russell left her a napkin, and when they stopped at another stop and Russell didn't have enough money for chips, she bought him snacks as a thank you and they went on where they managed to have a good time. The girl's name is Diana and she turned out to be a very fiery Aries, while Russell humbly stuck to his status as a humble Scorpio according to his zodiac sign. Diane came to Denver and suggested that Russell stop by her brother's cafe if he was passing through, and the rest of the way he was forced to drive alone. Upon his arrival, he stayed the night at the cemetery gate and went to his father's house in the morning. After the monologue, he remembered the keys his father had bequeathed to him along with a safe deposit box, so he went to the bank, where it turned out that his father had left him a note. It was so touching that Russell couldn't hold back his tears. His father loved his son, so he left him expensive stamps, which he now has a warehouse, so that Russell was able to get back on his feet and create a new life for himself, because the past cannot change. Three months later, Russell came to adopt Ellie 
but the woman warned him that it was impossible, so he gave her an envelope of stamps and asked her to give it to him when she came of age, because that's when she would be ready. Support the channel by liking, subscribing and enabling notifications, because with them you'll be the first to know about new videos.